What is up everybody? Welcome to, wow, I fucked that up real bad. Welcome to some Blacklight Retribution gameplay. Uh, it's one of the first uh, PC games I've ever played. I'm following this guy for some reason. It's just auto, autopilot. Uh, some, so it's like my first PC game uh, that I've really actually tried playing. Pretty shit at it, uh, but oh well. But here's a rundown for the week. Uh, I'm going to be doing some E3 coverage. No, I am not going to E3, but I'm doing some uh, sort of partnership thing with Machinima's E3 coverage. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to be posting information all this week about E3 uh, games and fuck. Oh, I got him and I got raped. Um, so E3 news and stuff like that this week, um, some big uh, games that are being released and obviously this is probably going to be the best uh, E3 uh, that we've seen in a while um, due to uh, all the new consoles coming out and um, some big, big blockbuster games coming out. Uh, my most um, anticipated game for uh, 2014 possibly uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be 2014 for sure but it's got to be destiny uh, I'm super psyched for that game and it's gonna be insane uh, if they say uh, if they pull off everything that they say uh, that they're gonna be doing um, and then some other games like GTA 5 I'm super psyched for uh, it's finally gonna be back in um, San Andreas which is one of my childhood favorites uh, Obviously GTA 4 was great too, I love that game, but I think I might just go back through and play uh, San Andreas all over again to get familiar with the map. Uh, I know it's going to be way bigger and I know it's going to be new compared to old San Andreas, but to get familiar with uh, GTA again, uh, that game was just insane, all the cheat codes and stuff that you could put into it, it just made the game overall really good. Um, so I'm super psyched for GTA 5. I heard one of the reasons why they pushed it back uh, was because they'll be releasing it for um, only next-gen consoles, and that's the main reason why it got postponed till September. Uh, and I'm getting raped over here. And yeah, so obviously I'm not good at retribution at all, uh, but I'm trying. I'm trying to get better. I'm practicing. Uh, so. I don't know. Uh, I'm Monday. I'm looking forward to the Sony press conference mainly because of Destiny. Uh, they're sort of following uh, exclusivity or you know exclusives to uh, Sony. I think they partnered up with them. Uh, they've got a partnership going on. So uh, I guess they're gonna have some exclusives for uh, Destiny on the PS4. Hopefully not too many because that'd be kind of unfair because uh, I play on the Xbox and all that stuff. Uh, but PS, uh, the PS4 looks really cool. Uh, it's got some really cool innovations uh, into it. Um, I, I like I like what they're doing. Uh, I wasn't too big of a fan of what Xbox was doing. Uh, even though I'm an Xbox fanboy, I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to consoles, and I, I didn't I didn't really like the changes that they're uh, trying to make. Uh, oh, it's just okay. Uh, but you know. Uh, We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'll give it a, I'll give it a chance. Um, I'm not going to buy it when it comes out, though. Uh, I'm probably going to buy, uh, buy Xbox One uh, when Destiny comes out, uh, so they can get all, all the kinks and stuff, get out most of the glitches in the console, because I think we all remember when the Xbox 360 came out, it had a whole bunch of uh, Red Ring of Death issues, overheating issues. Uh, I had tons of disc, disc uh, tray issues and uh, reading issues throughout um, the course of me having an Xbox. So I just want to give them a little while to sort that all out. Hopefully they have done that already because uh, they didn't really field test the 360 to the extent that they thought there was going to be uh, played. Um, but I mean, hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, both consoles are going to be great. It's just I like the, the PS4's little innovations a little bit better. Um, and how they're focusing on games. So I'll be uh, I'll be keeping an eye on Destiny at the Sony conference, and I'm going to be also watching the Xbox One as well. Uh, so you'll see information coming out about that uh, across the span of the week. Um, and I'm getting raped on this game. Uh, but yeah, um, GTA 5 looks good. Uh, they released um, or Titanfall got released. Uh, well, not released, but leaked. Um, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, some mech 
slash uh, fast-paced uh, gameplay. They is from the old creators of uh, uh, is some branch of Infinity War that branched off uh, around COD 4, and that was one of my favorite Call of Duties. Uh, all the old ones, including uh, COD 4, and then I think they went in sort of the wrong direction. Even though I still play them, they're still good games. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and this is embarrassing. Um, I'm trying to get better, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm apologizing in advance uh, for this gameplay. I recorded one before of the same stuff, but uh, it didn't get recorded. <laughs> so basically, uh, it's just going to be E3 coverage this week, and then I have a plan for um, over the summer. Uh, basically, I'm going to New Zealand uh, to visit some family, so I'm pre-making a lot of like when I say a lot, I mean a lot of videos. Uh, around uh, 40 videos, and uh, the internet over there is shockingly, um, it's good, but it's so shockingly expensive. Uh, you have data usage over there, so it's not unlimited when you pay for it. Uh, it is expensive, and you get up to 30 gigs of usage, so as you may know, uh, your Xbox and watching YouTube is going to eat through all that information, and I use it all up while I'm there. So I'm not going to be able to upload, um, well I am going to be up, going to be able to upload, uh, so I'm making 40 videos in advance because I'm going to be around uh, a month and a half, uh, so I'm going to be over there for a month and a half. So um, I'm going to remotely access my computer and, um, and uh, upload some gameplay uh, and a whole bunch of stuff for you guys. I'm getting... Uh, some scary games in there. Uh, Slender scared the shit out of me, so I'm gonna play, be playing some Amnesia and maybe some Slender, so I'm gonna be stocking up footage for that. Um, so you'll be seeing uh, some scary games. Uh, I'm gonna try and start up uh, Spartan Ops again. I have to get some kinks out of that, um, get some of the music out of that if I can, because uh, I don't have rights for the music. Uh, but I'm gonna be getting Halo. Got some really good Halo gameplay footage. I've been recording a lot of that lately. Uh, there we go. Got that guy. Um, so it, it's gonna be good. Uh, I don't know what else I'm gonna be recording. I recorded some zombie gameplay, but so far I still need uh, a few things to fill up the week. So you'll be getting a new video every day with a few Halo videos uh, a week. Um, if you guys want more, just tell me and I'll make some more, but because I'm trying to give you guys some Halo content as well, so as some new stuff if you guys like it. Um, hopefully you will. Um, I put, put a lot of effort into some of the zombie gameplays. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, sorry for my mispronunciations. Man, I almost did that wrong too. Um, but this is like my third time recording it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and I will see you later on this week. Peace out, guys.